Hi all. In this video, let's discuss React common errors and how to handle them. So let me start quickly. So the first error we are going to discuss is about adjacent JSX. So I have imported the different components showing different errors. Okay. So in that first, we'll discuss about the adjacent JSX problem. So for that, let me open. So I have just imported this component here. Let me show this error. So here, if I remove this, so usually everyone will uh, be facing this issue, uh, even if it is a uh, fresh developer or a beginners, everyone used to face the same error. So the error here is, so let me open the browser. Okay. So once I open this browser, you'll be getting an error like this. Okay. What it says is exactly the adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped with enclosing tag. Okay. So this is a very common React error we used to get. So why we face this error and how to handle this error? So simple. So uh, these elements are declared like this. So why this JSX error we are getting is all these elements should be wrapped. So let me write a, uh, okay, return is already there, okay. So just we need to wrap these elements in between any of the fragments or any of the other elements or any component or any of the React component or any HTML element like div or fragment. With any of this, you can wrap your elements. And what it means, it, you need to have only one parent. And in that parent, you need to wrap all your children component. Then this error would be gone. Okay, this is the first and common error we used to face. So let's understand why we face this error. So we understood why, what is this error and how to resolve this error, fine. Now let's understand if you define something like this, see the JSX can't understand what is the you have given because if you remove this, okay, I'm removing one div. So if you write some code like this, there will be babble in between and which will help us to convert our JSX code like this, where all the HTML tags will be converted into the react.create elements like this. Okay, if you give one more element like this, here the issue is there should be one create react app at the top. Okay, let me give one div here. Okay, and now div is a parent tag and in this div, you are giving all the children elements. So now if you understand the syntax here, here react.create element, it has create element and that div, the major main parent div here he, it is giving. And the next one is a class or uh, attributes of that div. And later on, if you see, okay, there are uh, again, you can see again, it, it was created another create element. So react.create element should be only once. Inside that, okay, you can give n number of elements. So the children's are defined here. So in this way, the JSX would be converted. So that's the reason we need to have only one parent component at the top. That should be all the children components would be wrapped between this parent component. So this is a common error and this is how we are going to resolve it. Just keep any of the fragment or React component or HTML element at the top as a parent and then it would be resolved. So this is all about the adjacent JSX error. So let me comment out this now. Now let's learn about the another common thing that is too many re-renders. So let me open that file, that component. If you see here, there is a counter count, okay where uh, we are uh, just uh, incrementing this counter whenever we click this button. But what is the problem here we are getting? So let's see that once. So I will open this, sorry, I will open here. Yep, here, see, now we'll be getting this error. There are too many re-renders. React limits the number of re-renders to prevent an infinity loop. So usually what happens in the front-end development is, if you get any of the infinity loop, this browser will be hanged, okay? If you get any infinity loop, this browser will hang. But the nice part with the React.js is it will understand if it is an infinity loop, it will stop then and there itself, okay? It will not uh, go into infinity loop and causes memory leakages and it will not hold this tab, okay? It will understand this is an infinity loop and it will just throw the error in the console like this, okay? Now, what causes this as an infinity loop? So the first reason is if you do something like this, so at the top, if you do something like this, so where you're trying to update your state, okay, in the render part itself. So once this component is rendered, you're trying to update the state. As you updated the state, again, the component re-render would be occurred, okay? Again, if you component re-render occurs, again, if you update the state, 
okay again the component render occurs it means you are making your component to go into an infinity loop that's the reason you will be getting this error this is the first reason and the second reason is you need when an button is clicked not only on button click all the callback methods should be written properly so here if you click one button you need to get you need to trigger this count okay set count and you are going to update the count value but here observe one thing whenever the component is rendering this method would be triggered that is the issue as as on when the component is rendered this set count would be triggered because you are passing this parameters with this this function braces usually when you are you use something like this you should not pass these parameters like this if you pass something like this it would be the function would be triggered on component load itself okay the same is happening here that's the reason whenever the component is loading you are trying to update the state as you are updating the state again the component re renders so likewise again you are making your component to enter into the infinity loop so what how i can resolve this is just keep this arrow function like this it means you are asking the component not to execute when the component is rendering you are not asking this set count to be executed when the component is rendering you are asking this to be executed only when you click this button so when the component is rendering if you write something like this the event would be triggered then and there itself so only the reference should be given the method references should be given here okay the callback function should be properly mentioned if not your component will go into infinity loop so now i have used an arrow function and i am keeping like this so now we will not enter into any of the infinity loop let me refresh this once again see we have not entered any of the infinity loop we will be getting like this and if i increment yes it it works fine so you need to properly set your callback functions whenever you are doing an any event handlers if not if you update your state in the rendering of the component then your component will be re-rendered multiple times as the state updates then you are entering into an infinity loop this is also a common error we, we used to face fine so coming to the next one so let's discuss about object and functions as a not valid children of reactors so this is also a common error so object functions not valid so what is error so let's see that so if i pass something okay i am passing here my object so i have taken one i have taken one component in that component we have an object if you are trying to take this object as a react children okay then see what error you are going to get see i will be getting objects are not valid as a react children so react can accept as a primitive data types or html any tags or any of the react component can be accepted as a react children but objects arrays and functions are not accepted as a react children because here you have an object so you are trying to render your object so enter you want to render this object what should be rendered here this is not a valid html valid react component or not a primitive type okay what it should be rendered should it render entire object here or only the values or only the keys what it should be rendered that is not clear here so that's the reason this react will not accept these objects arrays and functions as its children so whenever you use whenever you are trying to render any of the objects like this it will say it is not a valid children okay so fine if you have a name like this you know how to keep like this if you just keep a name like this name would be printed okay name would be rendered because you have a single value here that would be rendered whereas you given an object so then react gets confusion what to be rendered here neither keys nor object or only values what should be rendered so that is the main issue for react so that's the reason it will not accept objects arrays and functions as its children so then uh, then how to access so if even if you want to access the same object so then you can do like this my object dot name okay you can use this expressions like this my object dot h okay it means now i will be getting suresh and 30 as my h okay so let's see that output so here see i will refresh it remove cleaning the console once and refreshing this i will be getting this if you having if you really want an object to be displayed you need to do like this so you understood the problem right the common problem is if you try to render an object in the react it will not accept this 
okay objects arrays and functions can't be accepted as a, a react children even if you want to do some uh, operation on that you need to do like this you need to render your object like this fine this is about uh, objects and uh, functions are not a valid children for react that's a common error so coming to the hooks error so hooks let me go here fine so whenever you are using hooks the hooks should be called on the top level hooks should not be called in any of the conditions for loops or nested functions okay so for example here now it will not show you any error here you will not get any error here you will not get any error here okay so uh, sorry uh, yep. you will not be getting any error here just hooks sample okay whatever you use use state use effect use state use effect like this okay how react deals with this is okay Re uh, hooks will be deal in this react internally will understand okay the order of the hooks the order is very much important to react internally whenever the component is rendered and re-rendered again the order of this should execution should be the same order okay uh, if you use okay let me show that with an example here so see you can see an example here so 1 2 3 4 react don't know really don't know about all this use state use effect everything that it doesn't don't know and it will not bother about this it will just allocate some memories like this okay whenever the component is rendered it will do like this if you do some conditional rendering like this so this condition this if statement may exist or not if the condition may true may not be true so what happens the order is important because react internally checks the order if you keep some condition on the hooks okay at the top level if you keep some condition the execution may go inside this hook or not we are not sure it may go it may not go but once it may go it, it may not go so the order is not same if it is not going inside this hook the order is deferred to the react so what happens it will give the second memory location to the third u state okay the order is very much important because it will preserve the data in that way okay the order is very much important so if you are doing something like this and if you are not going inside this if block the second persist value will be given to the third value here where you will be getting many ambiguity results so that's the reason whenever a component is rendering the order is very much important to react it means you should not use any of the if, if blocks like this. For example, let me show the error once. So if I use something like this, so if I say if this is Suresh, okay, I'm writing an if statement here. Fine. So now let's see the error. So you can see the error in the browser. It will say that there is a problem here. So React hook use effect is called conditionally. Okay, React hooks must be called in the exact same order in every component re-render. So this is the issue. React will understand all the hooks in the internally, it will be understanding them in an order. Whenever the component re-renders again and again also, the order should be the same. That's the reason the hooks should be called at the top level, okay? It should not be called in any of the conditional statements or for loops or nested functions. They should be at the top. If you want to keep any of the conditions like this, you can throw that inside the inside this hook. You can do this instead of now you are using your hook on the top level and you are using the conditions inside of this hook. You can do that something like this. If you really want to do something conditionally, you can do this. Okay. I have done a dedicated video on the rules of hooks. I will keep that video at the end of the card, end of this video. You can check that one as well. Okay. So this is also a common error everyone used to do. The, if they are using any of the hooks, don't use the hooks uh, in any conditional statements, okay? You'll be getting that error. So you need to resolve that like this, okay? Fine. So let me comment this. And now let's learn the last issue. This is a very much common issue. That is, let me show you this. So here I have taken one uh, component. So I'm doing one API call and I'm uh, getting some post details. I'm fetching them, okay? I'm iterating them here and I'm showing those data. Here I will be getting an array of object and those are, I'm iterating through that array of object and I'm trying to showcase that title, okay? Now let's see what will be the result set. I'm getting each and every title of this post API call. Fine, so what is the issue? So this is not an error in fact, but this is a warning. This is a common warning everyone used to get like this. Each children in this list 
should have a unique key property okay it means every list here should have a unique property unique key property it means with this unique key what the react does is it can understand each and every element it can understand so that it can easily manipulate on those elements by identifying those list items it it can know which item is which list item is modified which list item is added and removed with that key it it can do the operations very much easily okay. most of the case most of them what they do is if they see this type of warning they most of them will ignore and few people will do what they do is they will keep the index here so they will pick the index from the map and they will try to keep that index here okay they will keep something like this index as a key this with this what happens you will not face this error so let me refresh this once again see now you will not get this error it means in fact just you are suppressing the warning okay they uh, it is showing that please give some key so you have just given the index value and you are just suppressing this warning but you are really not helping react okay react performance will be the same if you give the index or not because each and every operation which you give in this list item okay if you give any of the operation in this list item again it needs to do if you remove some list item again the react needs to reindex this items once again okay because you are giving a sequential index if it removes the third element again it needs to reindex all the other elements if it adds some element in between again it needs to reindex all the elements again so that's the reason you should not give this index it will not help react react performance will not be improved if you give this index then what i need to give okay let's check usually you need to give some unique identification key okay for example i am going to this post and let me check okay this is the response i am getting in this response let me check okay i am getting ids so these ids are unique okay in this case what you can do is instead of keeping index like this keep item dot id because you are getting from the back end id as a unique key so this will help react a lot okay with this identification react can easily identify each and every individual list item and it can modify any changes only related to that it no need to re uh, rearrange or re uh, order the index okay just it it can directly go there and it can manipulate on that item okay these are com some of the common errors we used to get in react js one is adjacent jsx you need to keep fragment at the top everyone parent should be there and too many re renders it means you are entering into an infinity loop it means you need to understand you are setting the state uh, uh, in and uh, with that setting state the component is re rendering again again with that re render you are again calling the set state so that's the reason you will be entering into the infinity loop and also you should not use functions objects and arrays as a react children those are not valid children okay before you are using you need to verify whether uh, that is a valid uh, react children or not and also the hooks should be called at the top level and also each and every list item should be given a unique identifier not the index okay these are some of the common react uh, errors and how to handle them hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you